Mm-hmm. What do we have here? Special delivery. Could you guess what's inside? That is right, my friends, an exclusive first unboxing of the Huawei P20, P20 Pro, and the new Porsche Design Mate RS right up here. Leica triple camera. Never seen it in an actual smartphone until right now. One, two, three, four. First up, this is the P20. The fingerprint sensor remains on the front. This is your first look at the display and you can see they've implemented a notch scenario like some other manufacturers, but they were able to shrink it down smaller than the others that I've currently seen. Visual identifier on the power switch, I like that. You see this is the black color, dual camera like a setup over here, but it does come in another color as well. Midnight blue and this one is vibrant, my goodness. What do you think about this color here, Jack, holy smokes. All right, so that's midnight blue, black, and there's also a pink gold version that will be available. Quick charge power brick, type C cable, a headset, also a type C to mini jack connector. Next up, the pro version. We have black and another color called twilight, 128 gigabytes of storage and six gigabytes of RAM an actual triple layout on the back. That is pretty wild. So the non-pro version is 5.8 inches of screen space. The pro is 6.1 inches. On the non-pro version, you're getting an LCD display. And then on the pro, you step up to an OLED display. Let's check this one out, okay? This is called Twilight. And this one is apparently all the hype. <laughs> this thing color shifts from blue to purple on the back. This unique color kind of extends into the aluminum frame as well. This is not standard metallic aluminum. It has a tint to it, which matches the color shift of the back. That is a nice looking phone. Along with the larger display and the slightly bigger form factor, you get a bigger battery on the Pro as well, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And then on the non-Pro, you're gonna get 3,400 milliamp hours. But you've also got what Huawei is calling the highest resolution selfie camera on any phone. 24 megapixels on the selfie camera. Is that what we're doing now? Huh? 40 megapixel in the rear? Sheesh. Aperture Portrait Photo Video Pro. Now if you select more here, there's a slow motion function up to 960 frames per second. Also a night shot mode for enhanced performance in low light. Here we go. Selfie camera. Ooh. Couple of pixels in there. Let's try some stage lighting real quick. I'll get, get myself in there. Dramatic. The drama. Okay, let's try a standard one. Two, one. Wow. Show them the beard hairs, Jack. Look at the eyeball. Let's move to the rear camera here. Guys, this is insane. When you go into the settings for the rear camera, you have a choice between seven megapixels, 10 megapixels, and 40 megapixels, 7296 by 5472. This camera is gonna try to use its AI features to determine what an object is before you take the photo to optimize the settings for that particular object. So if I take this prop, ooh, that's a cold, that's a cold Coca-Cola. Cola. Also gonna have a bokeh enabled mode where it searches for the edge in order to blur out the background. We're bringing in the plant. Greenery, it knows. Boom, now that's a shot. Guys, they're not messing around here. This device can apparently see far more scenes than even the Mate 10 could do. So now there's 19 and there used to be 13 before that. It can do cat, dog, food, blue sky, flowers, natural colors, close up, night shot. Jack just brought an old slice of pizza. What kind of savage wouldn't put it on a plate? Food! Delicious food, it said. <laughs> now, another one that I think is cool is actually the text mode. It finds the edges of the box as well. You get this really clear image, which is flat. These look delicious. Did you bring these, Vin? Oh, I got it, food. Either the almond or the pizza in the background there. 
Okay, mm. now let's talk a little bit about mm. the video mode, the different resolutions available up to 4K. Slow-mo, there we go. Slow-mo lets you record slow motion videos with no length limit. Super slow-mo lets you record short videos at 32X slow motion or 960 FPS. One. Bam! Man, why does everything look good? in super slow-mo. Let's give the fingerprint scanner a test. Ooh, a quick one. You have a 40 megapixel RGB camera with an f1.8 aperture, then a 20 megapixel monochrome f1.6, that's gonna help out in low light situations, and then an eight megapixel telephoto at f2.4. Together, this gives you the opportunity to zoom up to 5X optically, so no digital zoom and no quality loss. A few more specs on the display here. This is 2240 by 1080 for a PPI just over 400. Horsepower is provided by the Kirin 970 for both of these devices, the Pro and non-Pro. And both of these devices are gonna ship with Android 8.1. So another advantage of going Pro versus non-Pro, you're gonna step up to IP67 certification, so it's gonna be a little bit more water resistant, a little bit more durable. Okay, so last but not least, we have the Porsche Design Huawei Mate RS. You can see the device right there, Porsche Design on the bottom, a special headset, a couple of different international chargers, and also a case. Genuine leather case, very important, gotta be genuine. The same three camera setup as the P20 Pro. The design is different, so you have these in the center of the chassis. A fingerprint scanner here too. Now this model is also capable of wireless charging. The Porsche design wireless charger to go with it, this little puck here, have the entire setup. So here's what it looks like with the case installed. That's a look, oh my goodness, look at that. If you're gonna do a case. So there you have it, the P20, P20 Pro, and the Porsche Design Huawei Mate RS unveiled here exclusively on Unbox Therapy.